I don't know which way I should hold my camera this way or this way. <laughs> everybody i know every time i start the vlogs off in the car because i be on my way to work so when i be on my way to work i gotta work with y'all and start recording um yeah so i'm on my way hey that's the same car that be pulled that pulled me over yeah anyway i'm on my way into work um, this is day two of the everyday vlogs. Um, I actually have to finish editing the one that's going up today. Um, on the first, today is the first. Finish editing that and put that up. Um, hopefully I don't put it up too late, but I want to get it done. Like the base of it is done, the editing, and it's real quick. It was just like a little snippet, like, um, but yeah, I mean, it's something some footage is better than no footage so um we'll see we'll see how busy it is today if the clients are supposed to come in i should come in you know how that goes well if you don't know how that go that's a part of the hair game for um you aspiring uh, artists period because it's not just in the hair field it's in every field really um when you book appointments, people not showing up, but we're going to fix that because now I'm about to require deposits, especially for clients that do things that's time consuming, like sewings and stuff. Um, sorry, that camera had turned off when I switched it to um, put on my little pod thing so I won't just be holding the phone. But yes, if you book it with me, um, yeah, we're booking for your, you're booking my time and your time. So... You don't have to worry about me doing you and five and six other people getting to this one and that. No, like, I'm about, you know, our time is our time. You, you feel what I'm saying? Make it special because I include a lot of, like, you know, a lot of little things inside of um, my services for my clients because I want you guys to look and feel your best. You feel me? So our time is very important and I try to make the most of it. So if you book an appointment and you're not showing up and you thinking this and that and you don't reach out to me, that time that you just booked, I blocked that off. So I'm losing money because I could have had someone else in that time slot, especially in the holidays time, um, in that time slot instead of you. So either at that point, if you were, if you do not cancel, then either it's going to have be an added fee onto your next services or um then i'm just gonna choose not to really work with you because that's not a good relationship you know we have a good i like to build nice business and client friendly relationships with my clients you know what i'm saying like i don't just teach you like money like you help me make it I appreciate it so that's why i really cherish our relationships so yeah that's just a little quick little stylish rant and for any of you watching that are my future clients here in the richmond virginia area um yeah don't do that <laughs> but to fix that it's going to be a deposit so if you do not cancel your appointment within the 48 hours then you just lose out on that whatever the deposit is i haven't made my mind up uh because normally like you put down 25 percent. that's like the normal the standard thing to do put down 25 percent of whatever your service is but um i'm either going to do that or just require just a, across the board um 25 fee just to deposit and if you don't book if you um i'm, I'm not sure 100 percent though um, it may actually end up being the 25 percent because it's going to make you more stick to your the time um that you have booked and it, or it's going to let you be re more help you be responsible so that you can um cancel your appointment time within the time frame you know so it helps you and helps me it's a win-win so yeah and i'm also the stylist like and i'm rarely ever late like if you have an appointment i'm probably already you know 
anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour already setting up and preparing for you to come um depending on like if i literally have somebody right before you but i try to schedule some time in between in case they run in case my first client they run a little bit late or you know anything kind of happens i kind of cover that a little bit so but nine times out of ten i like to be set up ready um for you and if i'm not then i also have the shampoo tech um go ahead and wash you and blow dry your hair and all you know just a little stuff so that it's still a smooth transition like you're not sitting and waiting and if you are waiting over like five ten um minutes then i throw in another complimentary service or i'll actually um take some money off your ticket price because um it's just not fair like some people some stylists require you to be on time and all this stuff and they'll charge you and deposit you and all of this stuff like that but yet they'll show up late and all that stuff like no that's not cool and that's not that's not the type of stylist i am so this is you kind of i guess getting to know a little bit about me on my way to work i guess you know um yeah, so I guess at this point I'm going to jam out a little bit to some reggae. Um, and I am recording this on my phone, so I can't record and uh, listen to my music. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I get closer to the show. Bye. <laughs> you guys of the client that I did her hair color and I did a um, silk press so yeah and she would not let me cut them ends I'm gonna get you girl took down my old photos on Instagram and we and posted some new photos um, and I also followed a whole lot of people um, that's local to the area um, and what else I'm going to, so when I get back to the house, I'm going to continue to do that, finish recording and uploading the other video and this video, because this one's going to be ready to go tomorrow. Um, so, I'm in a new city, and this, and this is my slowest week that I've had since I came, since I've been in the shop. That first week, I was, that first week and on, I've been having clientele every week, and I've been at the shop for about eight weeks now, so about two months so that's a blessing because normally when you go into a shop and you're in a new area no clientele no nothing you don't you you'll be sitting there and doing nothing but i've faithfully had at least at least three every week at least three so and i know some of you guys like that's nothing but when you come from a new town and you don't got nothing that is something and especially when you get someone's because you know someone's be a pretty little penny so that's i mean that's pretty okay for me you know what i'm saying and especially because i'm doing this part-time so i only do about two and a half days because i'm there thursday on their friday and thursday is normally a slow day um friday is the day and then saturday i'm only there half it's only half day because we 
we open at 7 and then we close at take the last client at 12 but i'll be done around 1 30 so it's not like a whole day it's a half day so i mean to have that to have some income coming in every week god got me i swear it's god that be sending people to me i just be like god i'm gonna need you to come through and he comes through every time without fail i promise you i'm not over exaggerating <laughs> But yes, yeah, so my makeup looks like what makeup? I came to you guys early with some MAC lipstick on. And I don't want to downplay. I don't want to put say nothing bad. But MAC lipstick, for it to be the price more on the, I guess, luxury side of things, MAC lipstick does not last a long time. Um, yeah, so... I need to update my website i need to update that with the pricing and tomorrow we have a parade so i think i'm going to take you guys with me um and i can pass out a whole bunch of I'm just doing a, I'm a, um, doing a regular video now. My hand all in the way. What's the, what's the, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> you say, what are the, what? It's a little bit of the shop. And here's some extensions. Wait, it's pretty. That's a better view of the shop. I'm gonna try to do um, the shop when no one's here, so you can kind of get a better view. Cause I don't want to put all people all up in the, you know, ladies trying to get their hair done, don't want to be all exposed until they look right. So I'm about to pack up my stuff, um, and then I passed out a lot of business cards, but I might pass out some more. But I think. This yeah, today I jumped on live, Facebook live. It was early this morning when, and it's Saturday when nobody's awake. So I got a good response so far. It's like two hours later. It's been like 160 views, about 16 comments. Um, I don't know how many likes, but that's pretty good, especially because all I did was just do some real real quick video. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes of me doing wand curls. But, um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna go probably go do another live. But this one might be value packed. So I might be giving like some tips away or something, something value based now that I know people are watching and actually responding. So thank you for that. And I need to record these, finish editing these videos and put them up on a YouTube channel. So, I will talk to you guys in a few.